Hey guys, as you know, I fly the Kodiak 100 for my work over in Papua New Guinea, and I'm here at the Kodiak booth in Oshkosh 2022, and they just came out with a new Kodiak, the Kodiak 900. So I'm gonna walk around with the chief pilot, Mark Brown, and get some questions answered and find out what the difference between that one and this one is. Like I said, we're just gonna walk around. He's gonna show me all the new features about it and find out what makes this one so much better than the Kodiak 100. Hey guys, yeah, Mark Brown here. I'm the chief demo pilot for uh, Dai Air, which owns Kodiak now. So we're here in front of the new Kodiak 900, just debuted here at Oshkosh this week. This is an addition to the Kodiak 100. So as you guys know, Ryan's been flying the Kodiak 100 in the craziest places all around the world and that's gonna be our ultimate bush plane to be able to do and land and go anywhere. The Kodiak 900 is like heritage from the Kodiak 100, but is refined for speed and luxury. So this is gonna be a little bit more your commercial operations, your special missions. So you get a lot of the, the off airport capability of the 100, but you get 210 knots as opposed to 175 in the 100. Brand new engine, firewall forward is all brand new. This cowling, the prop, everything is new. And then um, it's about four feet longer and all new interior, all new cargo pod. So I'll walk you guys through a couple of those uh, features today and just show you exactly what we've changed. So if I bladed, as we've grown internationally, uh, noise requirements around the world differ. Uh, so for instance, your, Europe has a really strict noise requirement for takeoff and landing. And the only way we could get that noise requirement uh, fit underneath the decibel level was by going to a five blade prop. So it only spins at 1900 RPM versus the 2200 RPM that Ryan and the Kodiak 100 are flying. It's a composite prop, so it's a little bit lighter. It's a little bit more geared toward max cruise speed. So the Kodiak 100 can take off and land in about 950 feet. The Kodiak 900 can take off and land in about 1400 feet. So it doesn't have quite the stole capability, but it's still pretty good for an 8,000 pound airplane. A couple of the specs, just to kind of base level. The Kodiak 100 is 750 shaft horsepower on takeoff, 700 continuous and cruise. The Kodiak 900 is 900 horsepower on takeoff and cruise. Max cruise speed in the Kodiak 100 is 175 knots. Max cruise speed in the Kodiak 900 is 210 knots. It's 35 knots faster. Range is about the same, about 1,000 nautical miles in the 100, about a thousand nautical miles in the 900. Of course this gets there a little bit faster. So we'll start up here. This is still a PT6. It's a Dash 140A. So it's like I said 900 horsepower. It's the same, it's a similar engine to what's in the Grand Caravan EX uh, and a couple ag airplanes, but this is a newer variant of it. So we get 900 horsepower continuous through, through takeoff and through cruise. Five bladed prop. Of course we come back You'll notice that this is a lot bigger than what the Kodiak 100 looks like because what we've done here is we've made the, the cargo pod a integral feature. So the Kodiak 900 will always have a cargo pod. It's not an option, it's part of the plane now. In the Kodiak 100, even though uh, Ryan's airplanes all have cargo pods, those are actually an option. So if you put that airplane on floats or something like that, you take the cargo pod off. The Kodiak 900 always has a cargo pod. So we were able to make this much more aerodynamic uh, which is helps with that cruise speed. And then probably the most noticeable feature, we have, we've put wheel fairings on it. So again, these are a little bit smaller tires, so not geared toward the really muddy, uh, crazy backcountry Alaska gravel bar strips. This still has good off airport or off uh, unimproved strip performance, but you're not gonna be landing on like anything like you almost can with the 100. So wheel fairings add with the speed. You'll notice here we have new steps that come up into the plane. This airplane sits about five inches taller. And so the, the step, we removed the outside step again for speed. We wanted to get rid of anything that caused unnecessary drag. So we created these uh, telescopic ladders to get in the, in the crew stations, which is actually quite nice. Uh, the door and all is a little bit the same, but one nice thing we added was a uh, magnetic stop on the door, so now when you open the door, it, it magnetizes and you don't have to worry about the door swinging. With the strap and yeah, everything, with yeah, the strap. strap basically. Yeah, right. Oh, okay, awesome. Yep, so this is the wheel fairing, but the cool thing with this is you can stand on it, so it's, it's the, it, nothing's fragile. The Kodiak's built robust and the Kodiak 900 is just as robust. So you can stand on this and then up here, Every Kodiak 900 uh, comes with single point refueling. And it's pretty cool because you can actually just, um, 
you can easily display, display quantity of fuel. Oh, nice. Uh, so it's hot wired. So that's super nice, quick, easy. It's a high pressure system, so you can fill the tanks in like no time flat. A lot of new features in the cargo pod. So as you notice, we, we changed the, we got rid of the outside uh, clicks, uh, again, just for aerodynamics. So we have these push buttons and every cargo pod now locks. And then in here, it's similar in size. We still have the 65 pounds per square foot, so you can put really heavy, dense items in here, which is nice. But if you come around here, Ryan, you can see there's actually a pass-through now. And uh, I'll open the back hatch. And you can pass through like lumber, uh, skis, fishing poles, you know, whatever. It's, it's kind of nice. It's got real versatility now. Again, the, the airplane, the 900, sits a little bit taller, so we've added a whole new step function. So we have a third step versus just the two and the 100. The other nice thing is this is soft close, so you can just let it open and let it down, so you don't get the rattling. You also have a little bit of a handhold here, so people can you know, get in there and stabilize themselves, or getting down, they can stabilize themselves. If you take these rubber bumpers out, the door still comes down like the 100. Sure. So you can easily load stretchers or lumber, cargo, whatever uh, in there, like, like the 100. So a lot of added features, but you don't lose the versatility and functionality of the 100. So we're inside the 900 here. You'll notice this looks quite a bit different than what Ryan's been flying. This is our executive edition package. So this is really more geared toward like private owners or companies that might use it as a corporate airplane. The nice thing with these seats, they have double armrests, they have your car style seat belt, so, so passengers really love them. Every seat station has a limo plug for plane powered headsets, so you don't need batteries or anything. You also have USB ports on every single seat station so everyone can keep their devices charged. You have cup holders at every seat station, but you don't lose the, the functionality of the 100. So you have cargo tie downs literally everywhere throughout the cabin. You have the, the seat tracks that go from front to back. So you could easily take all these seats out, put cargo, dirt bikes, whatever in, and you still have the, the, all that versatility and functionality that, of the Kodiak. The other cool thing with these seats, they all recline, they all have headrests, um, but you also don't need any tools to get them out. On each side, there's, there's just these little quarter turns. You, you do one on each side, the seat pops right out and you can easily take them in or out. You know, it's it's about as simple as it can get. A few other features that have come out in the Kodiak 100 and 200 that aren't in Ryan's airplane. Uh, glove box to the, to the left of the PFD number one, the glove box to the right of PFD number two. We got rid of the analog standbys. We added a three in one or four in one digital standby. Oh, nice. There's an AOA on every airplane as standard equipment now, so the, the Kodiak, you can have so many different weight variations that your approach speed could, could vary by 10 knots some days. So that angle of attack is a great, easy way to know that you're flying your perfect approach speed every single time. Approach speed in this airplane, um, when I, if I'm going into a real short strip, like we used about a 1800 foot strip for a lot of our testing. Um, I was coming in about 68 to 70 knots uh, indicated airspeed, so it still flies really slow. You can easily fly at 65 knots with full flaps. Like, sure. you still have a lot of slow speed, good handling with this airplane. Okay. So the climb rate of this airplane, basically through um, a 10 or 12,000 feet, is like 1,700 feet a minute. Okay. Wow. And then it's still over a thousand feet a minute above 12,000 feet, basically all the way to 25,000. So your climb speed, if, if you took a 100 and a 900, you took off at the same time and you were going up to 25,000 feet, the 900 would get there in half the time as the 100. The power to weight ratio of the Kodiak 900 is almost identical to the power to weight ratio of a PC-12. So you have really good climb, you have good cruise speed. The price of a new Kodiak 900 for 2023, well equipped, basically as equipped like we're sitting in here today with TKS, single point, executive interior is right around 3.5 million. Okay, now compared to the Kodiak 100 in a similar configuration? Yeah, so the Kodiak 100 that we have here at the booth is also in our executive configuration. Basically fully loaded cargo pod, TKS, single point, executive interior, and that's 3 million. So the, the 900 is about a half million dollars more than the 100 for 2023. The Kodiak 900 really is gonna be for somebody maybe that wants to go in and out of grass or you know nice manicured strips, but 
has a need for carrying a lot of weight, whether they maybe have a big family or they want to bring dirt bikes and other things, or they're a special missions operator that needs to carry a lot of you know equipment in here, or a commercial operator like Suzy Air and in Indo, yeah. that that kind of operator that that maybe they don't need a PC12, they don't need the complexity of a pressurized you know retractable gear airplane, but they want more speed than some of the other unpressurized single engines can give. This is going to be the perfect airplane for them. Yeah. So basically it's kind of like the Kodiak 100 is like the Suburban and this is the Escalade. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. <laughs> Where, yeah, you can carry everything. You don't care if you scratch it up, but yeah, this is definitely a little nicer. So, all right guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, just walk around of the new Kodiak. I sure have enjoyed it and just seeing the new features about it. So thanks again, guys. See you next time.